Welcome to Mama Lifestyle. Today we're going to be focusing on flea market flip. So these are one of my favorites. I found this beauty for a dollar at the flea market, so I'm very excited. It does have some wear and tear and it looks like it's been in storage for a while, but after some love, it will look beautiful. So I'm just showing you guys how it looks before. Um, all the dents, uh, looks like some nails missing, a um, little burn mark. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, so first we want to take off the hardware and the door off um, so we can prep to sand it. So it looks like there's a veneer on top. Um, I'm just going to do my best to make it as smooth as possible and then for the top uh, part I will have to um, prime it. Okay, so while I'm sanding, um, I just want to let you guys know when you're at the flea market, don't be afraid to ask and to bargain for the items. I almost walked away and then I heard the lady go, it's only everything for a dollar. And I thought to myself, wait, let me ask. And of course she said, yeah, everything. And so I took it. So when sanding, just make sure that you hit every spot or every area of the table. Um, I am just sanding with my sander now, but I will be going back with my sand, paper sander and doing it by hand because there's a lot of areas that I can't really get in between or get into. And then of course with the door, it the way that it's uh, detailed, I actually just sand it by hand. And when you sand it by hand, it's really quick and easy too. So um, I believed I use a 180 grid. Uh, to start um, sanding. So with the bottom tip hardware, I actually did not take that off. I just decided to mask it. It looked a little difficult to repair it, or I guess not repair it, but to put it back on. And so I decided to just do this instead for this um, tip here. And then I'll just flip it over and then I will go ahead and wipe it down to make sure there's no ac excess um, dust from sanding. Um, so getting all the corners um, and then I will begin to prime. This is the primer that I use. Um, so it is a bonding. Um, and this is a prime and sealed um, primer so I I did use about half the container, um, so I have more than left more left over for another project. Um, and this gave me two good quotes uh, for this little side table. Um, So I used the roller as much as I can for all the flat areas and then afterwards I went back in to, with a brush to go into all the details and areas that I just couldn't get into. Now with the primer I do recommend to let it sit for a day and then go back in and paint. Um, so the step that I'm doing right now is, with the primer is exactly what I'm going to do with my paint as well. So because I already primed my side table, I don't have to um, do two layers on my table. So I did use Velspar Ultra. Um, I like this because it's an everyday washable uh, paint. Um, 
I am not sponsored by them, but I do really like their brand, and so I use their brand, this brand, um, for my house, walls, and everything. And this is how it looks white. Now that it's white, we're gonna use this awesome spray can and spray the tip of the legs and all the hardwares, and then we will place it on. So there it is. It's very easy, but it does take some time to sand and a day to, or, or maybe day or two to, um, you know, prime and then paint, but it's all worth it. Especially if you find something awesome like this for a dollar, it's totally worth it. If you notice, I didn't put the cuff back on because I like the simple look. I hope I was able to inspire you to do a DIY as this and to make something new out of something that nobody really wants. If you haven't yet, please thumbs up and subscribe and you'll hear from me and my girlfriends and we talk about motherhood, we talk about homes, decors, fashion, everything you can think about. All right.